<laughs> hey, I'm Josh Reimer. Walk like an Egyptian. I will. You know, I'm not exactly afraid of heights, but I'm also not really a thrill seeker when it comes to needing to climb on top of tall things, other than men, of course. I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> I do kind of like them tall. But one German tourist in Egypt loves climbing up on top of things so much that he actually climbed to the top of one of the pyramids, which, yes, is quite illegal and dangerous, but he strapped a camera to his head and he videotaped the whole experience, which has since gone viral online. Like, is that what we're coming to now? If we want to have a viral video, we have to do something as crazy as climb one of the seven wonders of the world? So the video starts off with footage of his journey to the pyramids, and then we see him cross the very low security barrier. Like seriously, it's an unmanned rope. And then we see him climb up and up and up and up until he gets to the very top, and he's just wearing regular shoes and clothes, I guess. Um, and then at the top is the incredible view, which is pretty amazing. And then he starts his descent back down, but it cuts off. We only see two minute edited version of this video. So it's very cool and very concise. Kind of like this show. Reaction online to his video goes everywhere from people saying that they are glad he did it so they could see what it would be like to climb the pyramids to people freaking out about how disrespectful and dangerous it is. Personally, I kind of feel like it's nice to have this now available forever for anyone to see what it would be like because you never know when the pyramids aren't going to be there anymore. Like sure, they've lasted about 4,000 years or so, but there are extremist groups out there that might destroy them at some point. So some random dude from Germany just not having any malicious intent and just wanting to climb it and document it for everyone else to see sounds okay to me the climber was caught by police at the end which is not something you generally want to have happen in Egypt I would imagine because you might just disappear for a while but I guess they were in a good mood that day because they only questioned him for about an hour and then released him but can you imagine how that conversation would have gone down like how do you talk your way out of that sorry officer I just took a wrong turn and thought those were the stairs back to my hotel room I wondered why there wasn't an elevator there honestly it probably was something like just completely ridiculous just left the police thinking another stupid tourist because let's face it somehow when we're traveling we kind of turn into dumber versions of ourselves don't we but you met me traveling but i rest my case thank you for watching the sassy scoop as usual we have some bloopers to show you that some! are some <laughs> we'll only show them like three Okay. <laughs> Out of the 30 or so that we actually have. Yeah. But let me know what you think about this guy climbing the pyramid in the comments below. Cool or fool? Ooh. And if you're on Snapchat, you should totally follow me there. I'm Josh Reimer, all one word. And otherwise, I have very conveniently put together my Snapchat story, Sassy Sunday, for you. So you can click the link right over there. And I'll see you on Thursday with the top 10 list. <gasps> He's very excited about that. <laughs> and surprised for some reason. <laughs> Bye. Bye! No more coffee for you. The climber was caught by police at the end, which is not something you really want to have happen to you in Egypt, I wouldn't think, but uh, it did. Oh! So deal with it. Yeah, well, yeah. You tell them. Yeah. I just did. Yeah. Now that's sassy. <laughs> Hey, I'm Josh Reimer. Walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> and I'm not exactly afraid of heights, but I'm also not really a thrill seeker in terms of really, um, Doing things? Doing things? Yeah. Doesn't thrill me. No. No. It's true. You like to just sit and stare at the wall. You're actually pretty boring. But he strapped a camera to his head and he made a video of the experience, which has since gone viral. And, uh, oh dear. That point again, eh? Yeah. yeah. Maybe we should just end it there. Okay. Bye.